which happens in your hostel rooms which happens in the ot theaters which happens in the consultant rooms maybe during your ranks which is out you know all that artificial movies you know all made up stories i have real thing going on which is quite engaging you should have seen that ot theater that laparoscopic videos no they are symphony they 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 you know use music they probably they, you know the thing is you non clinicians don't get that like we start and saying it's a lifestyle choice uh, you do stuff i'm not uh, uh, denying that point you do help in the patient care management i'm not denying the point but you know what i get to be involved in the patient care management i do a uh, little bit of happiness little bit of uh, whatever i get out of it and you know what i get to do stuff at home hey guys welcome back so we have a very slight chill out session here so intelligence is not the only criteria to decide your branches it's actually a life choice so i have with me dr sandeep the surgery guy so we are going to hear talk about one of the hottest topic which happens in your hostel rooms which happens in the ot theaters which happens in the consultant rooms maybe during your ranks which is out whether to choose clinical or not which is best the clinical or the paraclinical thing so like you can see i have dr sandeep so we're going to just have a very casual talk on which is better so first question to you dr sandeep like why did you choose clinical what's the intention or what is the thing behind it i wanted to influence people's life i wanted to change you know to bring that you know the effect in people's life why did you choose not clinical Uh, maybe i wanted to influence my life not the person's life so i will have a good amount of personal time it's like a balance uh, be a little bit contributing to the patient management and also maybe having a good amount of time for myself friends family and around that might be the reason influence yourself okay i'm pretty sure you know a lot of patients thank you uh patients do thank uh, maybe if not uh, the entire uh, credit has been taken by clinicians like you because <laughs> <laughs> because we are in the era of evidence based diagnosis right so where do you get your evidence from palpation or uh, insurance takes care of the ct mri blood tests biopsies no. frozen sections lots more to discuss about Anna, this hand is you know more than any evidence that you want the minute i put my hand no i know what is there Okay, you don't need an MRI, CT. Just my eyes, my hand. I know what's the pathology like. Even no, <laughs> I don't need a pathologist. I know it's a bloody goddamn tumor. Okay, I know it's malignant also. I don't need anybody. I I can deal my. But myself. you know, uh, funny story. You can't decide what treatment option you want without a central node biopsy. You can't decide what you're going to do for just without the mitotic count. You can't uh, even dissect. or plan the treatment without having an mri or a ct or a biopsy or maybe you can't get even get an anesthetic fitness without a hemogram right too much of <laughs> theory this is what non clinical is all about we do we don't talk we support that's what it is that's that's how it is so, so that's the ultimate agenda you think behind. support is all that is important i mean like look at us we do stuff okay I, i'm not i'm not undermining it but we 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 are the one who makes changes okay see that is true to some extent uh, like we start and saying it's a lifestyle choice uh, you do stuff i'm not uh, uh, denying that point you do help in the patient care management i'm not denying the point but you know what i get to be involved in the patient care management i do a uh, little bit of happiness little bit of uh, whatever i get out of it and you know what i get to do stuff at home i get to do stuff at my society in the friends family circle because i have the time Where does your time go? I do have time. I have quality <laughs> time. I don't want quantity. Whenever I want, I'm sure you get to take a lot of luxury, exotic holidays. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it's uh, a tough call for that. But you know what? You might get to take exotic vacations. But every day is a vacation for me after five pm. Empty mind is devil's workshop. I don't. I can't see myself being you know idle. I want to work. I need that adrenaline rush. I want to do stuff. Sitting, chilling, vacation on every day is not a vacation. It's joblessness. <laughs> it's not joblessness. See, if you look at it, you know, like uh, let's say the movie came, and uh, what's fun without watching a movie in a big screen, 3D effects, rather than looking into the what the robotic glasses or what you look at the laparoscopic mirror? And uh, maybe I I take a selfie. I can post a reel. I can chill out uh, in the Instagram. I can like other person's thing. I can be with the family. I can cook. I can feel I can enjoy life. I do have a life. What I'm trying to say is I do have a life outside the hospital. What do you have? I have my entire life set up. Your theater <laughs> is there. Mine is inside the hospital. My you know your tea coffee and all will be sitting probably in your dining hall or in a balcony or probably in a coffee shop. 
I have my tea coffee in a OT theater, you know, with people <laughs> who I like a lot. Okay. <laughs> ஒர்க் <laughs> 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 So I do accept that it's an art. I do accept that you get uh, the coffees which is cold in the theater because you don't get time to drink a hot coffee. That's why maybe you like cold <laughs> coffees more. I like a hot steaming cup of coffee which I can just relax like this, sip it, maybe look at a sunset like you said in the balcony. Have you ever seen a sunset by the way? When did you reach home? <laughs> oh, I <laughs> I <laughs> I don't need a bloody sun. I go before it rises and reach when once it sets up. I see the point. He's actually... Uh, I'm happy about it. I don't... I I hate sun, you know. It gives me tan and all. So, I'm, I'm pretty... I'm not going to have a skin cancer because of UV radiation exposure, okay? I don't want sun. OT theater is quite amazing. It's, it's got ambient temperature. Five minutes, he is going for compromises. <laughs> I am not. Guys, he's just making it up. It's not a compromise. It's a bloody choice. I love it. So that's how it is like it's a choice for any one of us like uh, it's definitely there it's definitely there are differences like uh, he mentioned there are few upsides to being a clinician uh, be it uh, the financial stability on a long term or be it the thankfulness receiving directly from the patient or be it seeing the patient smile no again guys uh, on a lighter note we did had all that discussion but when you talk about financial stability in a current world it's almost the same it is see when you're talking about clinicians 20 years down the line before they had an upper edge because that time the pre para clinicals were not that mature now as you said evidence based medicine i will not proceed without having a proper tissue biopsy i will not proceed even with my antibiotics if i don't have a proper culture sensitivity so we do have a lot of important role for pre para so now more or less financially we are on the same ground ha huh. what you can say about if i say slightly about the clinical part we start a journey being a doctor with human interaction so probably because you know we love human interaction we turn out to be clinical anti social so you guys tend to be a bit more you know towards the other end but then yeah i do agree that financial uh, component is not an issue right now actually i'm not anti social i get to mingle with the society <laughs> unfortunately he doesn't have the time and he cannot mingle with the society so he's uh, uh, saying that i am anti social yes i might kind of not uh, be much towards to engage with the patient if you want such you can definitely go into non clinical branches and like i said that it, they become they will become old in future when more and more evidence is start coming it will be in a part of an management thing right so now even now we have good amount of uh, clinical pathological clinical radiological and the microbiology person it will be in the hospital surveillance everything comes into the play. we don't proceed without a tumor board approval True. right True. so for any case i need uh, my uh, medical oncologist i need a surgical oncologist i need a radiologist i need a pathologist if you're dealing with infectious component i need my microbiologist to be available down there uh, if you're talking about any alignments i need my physiology or a medical physiology guy to provide me with inputs <coughs> So now it has become a multidisciplinary team and I see future, now see the West has already evolved. You go yes. down there, you see the importance. Uh, see when I went for a you know fellowship and observership, I saw that their level of work is so integrated that you, l- because see now when we do something, how do you know you are correct? Until unless you don't provide me with the answer which I am looking for. So you provide me that evidence pre and post op which validates my whole procedure. If you don't validate, it's not worth it. So, there is going to be a huge scope like amazingly huge scope it will be for sure like uh, this conversation we actually wanted to have because this is kind of a burning conversation amongst young doctors who has not worked or who has not been a part of a team so it's about a team management where everyone has their role like for this video to happen without this lights and settings we would be struggling without this camera would be struggling without the editor would be struggling right so does the editor has no importance they do have for sure yes they are not in the limelight that's all right so yes definitely clinicians are in the limelight if you feel that okay you have to influence life be there if you feel your life has to be influenced be like me what's your take <laughs> you know the last statement i see the hard reality yeah we we need to accept it that uh, it's a, it's it's a we are life choices right like 
you yourself you know you had you could have chosen any branch you want you took pathology because you had your vision set so you know you are a good example for all those young listeners who are down there um, you know i've you know spoken to a lot of juniors now before they pick a branch they consider more of what people around them think rather than what they want and right? the it's, toppers what they took the seniors yeah, what they took it's it's about this you know the social pressure that they have you know that you know you need to be a clinician no it is not it is what you need to be what you want for yourself right so uh, it's a good message that we are having this conversation today that just do what you love and what you like if you don't want see when we say social anti social i i did not mean in in a negative yeah, way it's like you don't want to talk to strangers you don't want to have a fuss That's but right. that does not mean that you're not contributing to the patient management you are equally contributing so you just need to analyze that and with that i think the debate should settle sure the debate will settle just one more example the same lines what dr sandeep said you can't expect a personality like elon musk to work for 9 to 5 job right at the same time you must have seen lots of fuss about the infosys saying that uh, you have to work for 70 hours a week right so it's about perception it's about individuality it's never about what the society thinks so go with yourself if you are a person who wants to hustle 24 7 be your choice if you want a person like i go up to the hospital at 9 i come back at 5 i need everything i need a balance you have a balance also available right that's the ultimate goal let's settle this debate sandeep and maybe we will uh, maybe we will look into future more debates on uh, discussing multiple other topics on this manner yeah sure and yeah there's always space on that top 1% huh? so don't forget about it if yeah. you want to be the top 1% there's always space down there. and uh, any branch of medicine if you are good If you are ready to improve, if you are ready to learn, if you are ready to pivot, you can go to the top one person. Right? See you guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.